in our earlier recording we have seen the first order conditions now we have also given one example in order to show you that first order conditions are not sufficient to say that the point which you have found out the extreme point the critical point which you have found out that is indeed the maximum or a minimum point so in order to check for that you need to find out second order conditions okay so you need to look at the behavior of the differential around the extreme point also so well you know this that uh, dy is equal to for for y is equal to f of x dy is equal to f dash x dx for this function in case if you again totally differentiate this you get d2y equals to f double dash x dx2 now local max uh, in order to check for the local max that is in a particular region in case if you want to check whether this function attains the max or not so you need to show this that <clears throat> d2y is going to be less than zero and so second order conditions for a local max is this that this will be less than zero only if f double dash x is less than zero so for second order conditions what you are trying to trying to say is that in order in case if you are trying to find out the max the slope of the first derivative it should be falling okay as you could see here now i know this that i know this that uh, this is the max of the function okay now as you move up from left to right say you move from here this point then you move little further to this point then you move little further to say this point and so on so with every point when you're moving with every point when you're moving you are experiencing the fall in f dash x okay that is fall in this so slope was higher here then it has fallen then at green line it has fallen again till the point that at the blue tangent it has become completely equal to zero so slope is falling so when you move up okay towards the maximum slope tends to fall and this is what the second order condition is that in case if it is a max the slope of the derivative slope of this first derivative slope of the tangent it should be falling okay for the for the local min the reverse is the true that is f double dash x should be greater than zero so as you move down along the curve from left to right leading to minimum the curve gets increasingly flatter okay so slope should be increasing you're actually moving from see uh, this is like in case if you look at this um, slope was say at at yellow line at at the yellow tangent it was 3 then at at red tangent it was 2 then at green tangent it was 1 then at blue tangent it is 0 okay now slope is falling there here in this case slope would be how 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 do you are going to see the slope say you are at this point okay now here slope is say minus 3 clear now then you pick up the slope here slope is minus 2 so from minus 3 to minus 2 it has increased then you move little further again slope is say minus 1 so it has increased from minus 3 to minus 2 to minus 1 and here at this point that is at this point that is at the minimum point slope has become equal to 0 so it has it has it, it is actually increasing from minus 3 to minus 2 to minus 1 to 0 so when you are finding out the negative the slope of the derivative okay that is slope of the tangent it should be increasing when you are trying to find out minimum so this is what is second order conditions is because this this will definitely show that in case of second order conditions are 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 are, uh, are satisfied at uh, at the critical points 
then you can say that yes this point is indeed maximum or minimum 